Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion. I'm going to show you how to package your UI animation project files in After Effects. Okay, why is this important to know? Why is this cool? Well, this is just another small tool in your tool belt that will uh, save you a lot of time and be incredibly helpful. So, um, basically the idea is like, if you're working on a project file and you have assets in all these different places and it's kind of complex, there's a command uh, or a feature, whatever you want to call it in After Effects. You hit that and it packages everything up in one place so that you can share it with your team or archive it or just kind of clean things up and delete like everything else. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Before I do that, I just want to show you that, hey, I created some really cool UI animation courses that are rapid learning based, meaning that if you don't have three months to spend learning UI animation and you just want to spend a couple hours instead and create awesome professional UI animation work, you can check out my courses and they will do that for you. So that's great. Secondly, um, and I'll include that link below, uxmotion.com. Secondly, hey, uh, if you have no experience with this and you want to get in the game and get started, I've created a free UI animation with After Effects fast start course. You just click that link below, take the course, it's just a couple hours and you'll know the entire workflow and how to do this stuff. It's designed just for UX, UI and product designers with no experience working with After Effects or a timeline. And lastly, Click the link and download the source files for this tutorial and follow along so we can do it together because that will be awesome. Okay, cool. Let's do this thing. So we just double click this file here and it's going to open up in After Effects. And this is just a representation of how your project files might be, which is that you might be working on a bunch of assets. And if you're working quickly, things might be in a lot of different places and it's just kind of messy. So don't worry about it. So this is an old blog post I did on how to do a motion path, which if you want to watch that, go, I'll include the link for that. Click that, watch that. Uh, but say, hey, what if we're working on some other stuff? What if I have another, I'm just going to drag another random project file in here and be like, hey, and this is complicated. There's a whole bunch of things. Look at all those compositions. Just like, boom, crazy. This was a project for medium.com. And say we got this like other project going on too. So we've got like multiple project files, multiple assets multiple different kinds of things going on at this point. And we have them all in one place. And we're like, dude, this is way too hectic and spread out. This also has, look, a ton of different assets. This was a, for a client project. Okay, so what do we do here? We're kind of like panicking, right? Don't worry, check this out. You go to file, dependencies, collect files. So again, file, dependencies, collect, collect files. You hit that. First thing that'll happen is I'll say, hey, this project needs to be saved first. Do you want to save it? I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to put that on the desktop to demo this. It's not going to, so this project file isn't as important. This is kind of like, I don't quite understand the logic. I'm just going to show you what happens, but this file you're creating here, it won't be the thing that you're saving. So I'll call it like awesome file on the desktop. Now the next step is like, okay, let's collect files. Let's get this party started. So you have a couple options here. One is you can generate a, a report only. Nobody needs that. Leave it off. Obey proxy settings. I never use those. Leave them off unless you use them and then you know what to do. If you want to reduce your project, this is up to you. This is on you now. What that means is it'll go through and anything that's not being used, like in a, a, a composition, it'll just delete it from the thing. So in this case, I'm going to say we're not going to reduce it. We're going to leave all, all the stuff in there, all the goodness. Um, and then do we just want to reveal it when it's uh, finished? Um, and, and then it says, hey, look, four files to After Effects, and then we're gonna say collect, where do, where do you want it? I'm gonna put this on the desktop. And now it's gonna make a folder and then collect all the linked files in the After Effects and the After Effects project file. So I'm gonna save that and it's gonna do its thing. Now let's take a look at what it made. So I'm just gonna close all these out. So this is the thing it made here, this awesome file folder. You can see that there's just one project now. Um, there's a report text, you can just delete that if you're so inclined. Uh, and it just, look, it just copied everything into a single folder in a very nice and tidy and cool and clean way. And that's it. That's all you need to know. So file dependencies, collect files, uh, save it, put it where you want it, and you're done. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit subscribe to my channel. I'll just be sending you more of these because they're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.